ओके ओके What up? It's your boy DJ Marcellus Dope. And I'm here again for another video. Oh, you hear the rhymes in there? If you're curious about what vape juice I'm using, it's Mrs. Moraine. Alrighty. But we're not gonna talk about this. This ain't no dang vape channel. This is a DJ channel. So today's video is gonna cover where I get my music from and how I organize my music. Alrighty. First of all, tip, make sure you got good quality music. You know, YouTube rips and all that is not the best. I'm just giving you a heads up, it's not the best, all right? So go ahead, spend that 20 bucks a month for DJ Pool, if you want to, and get that high quality music. Because not only do you need high quality music, you need high quality speakers, but the music plays a big role, okay? So, we gonna get this kicked off here, all right? Cause this may be a decently length video. I hope it not though, but let's get started. All right, right here, first DJ pool, BPM Supreme. I just started using BPM Supreme about four or five months ago, and I love it. Whenever I need a song, it's my go-to. It got everything I need, everything I want, you know what I mean? So. I go to, all right? I'll, another thing I like about BPM Supreme though is the light and dark switch, you see? Now it's bright. Now it's night. Okay. Um. So just a little overview of BPM Supreme. Up here, you got your top downloads, you got your radio charts, you got your staff picks, you got your new releases, all right? That's all gonna be here, okay? To your right, you have your crate. So you could go through songs and add all these songs to your crate. So say you just wanted to go and get all clean edits. All right, you gonna go here, add it to the crate, and get added to the crate as you see right there. And I can make these all dirty edits. So then when I then go into iTunes, I put it into my dirty folder. Okay, that sounds more awkward. But you should know what I mean. All right. And then once you do download a song, a dot will pop up right here saying how many times you downloaded it. So that's a good thing too. You may go through a DJ pool and be like, okay, let's go get some new music. But then you don't know if you downloaded that song or not because you download and listen to so many songs a day. So you got indication right here. I guess you get up to three times to download it. I have never reached my limit. So uh, that's not something I worry about. Um, it's also good for when you lose your library too. You know, you just come right on here, BPM Supreme. Okay, these are the songs I had because I got dots next to them. You know, that's good too. All right. But besides that, you can change the organization to the classic view. I'm not gonna do that. Over here is how many songs they have. How many videos? Yes, they do have videos. How many songs was added this week? Okay. Category, come down here, select the genre. Let's go EDM. All right. This is why I love BPM Supreme too. So you got EDM and EDM remixes. Okay. But not only that, you got different types of EDMs, you know, Trap, one of my favorites, and it just makes it so much easier when looking for music. Uh, some of the other stuff I go through, I gotta actually go through and listen to it, like lengthy listen to it, and may have to click on every EDM song I see, because I don't know if it's Trap, Hip Hop, Future Bass, uh, 
progressive house, future house, whatever, you know, so, oh my goodness, BPM keep on freezing on me, I don't know why, I don't know me, let's drag that over here to the first chi, okay, we back and loaded. We back and loaded. We lock and loaded, reload it, boodle, 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 boodle. Okay. So, let's go choose a genre again. We will be at EDM. Alrighty. And you just go in here, you know, you could click trap. Like I said, trap, my favorite. Let's hope it don't freeze again, trying to click the trap. It look like it's freezing again. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Okay. So most trap songs or EDM songs are gonna be extended short edits or radio edits. Alright. But another thing I like is you can show all. You know, if you wanna extend an edit or radio edit, a remix of a song, everything is over here that you would possibly need. If you're looking for a certain BPM of the song, it's over here. You know, you can sort by the date, the artist, the title, and the BPM lowest to highest when you're searching through the song. They also got the top downloads, you know, and the staff picks. Like, these, these are great things that I really like about BPM Supreme. Okay, so we're not gonna spend any more time on BPM Supreme. We gonna go ahead and go to Crate Connect. Crate Connect is the first uh, record pool I started on. Um, they're pretty solid, pretty solid. They're supposed to be updating their website. I don't know when they gonna do that. But they look a little old school, you know what I mean? Um, Crate Connect was cool, but like I said, in BPM, like, especially looking for like EDM songs, it was hard to uh, discover what song is trap, what song is this, what song is that. So, uh, it definitely helped me out when I got to BPM Supreme, cause I know what I wanted more of, I know what I wanted some of, et cetera, et cetera. Alright, we gonna go here, hotnewhiphop.com, hotnewhiphop.com is so slept on, this and live mixtapes, live mixtapes is the next one, um, because when I first start DJing, I, these are what I use, you know, it's free and you know, they don't have the radio edits that you want, but some of them come with no DJ edits. And it was good enough quality, and I really enjoyed it because I found the songs I want. Some of the songs that you wouldn't think you would find on here, you find on here, okay? Uh, but you got your mixtapes, your songs. You can even discover songs on here, you know, and maybe search some, s find some songs on here and go to BPM Supreme, you know. Um, another thing I do is live mixtapes, okay. Live mixtapes is pretty much the same thing as hot new hip hop, okay. But I don't use the live mixtapes part of this no more because I go to club tapes right here. Club tapes is where's it at? Because club tapes got all your little fancy edits and your mashup packs and all that. That's all here on club tapes. And you know, you could easily make mashups yourself, okay? If you got FL Studio, you could do it in there or you could just do it live when your DJ controller and record it through Serato or whatever DJ software you use, all right? But this is where I come, and certified club tapes, I probably got all the certified club tapes from volume one to volume 34, all right? I got this one already. By the way, Mr. Carmack DNA, that's hard, all right? That is hard, that is fire. And then some of the stuff that costs, like this uh, mask off, Mr. Collar Part remix, it costs. So I won't let you download it when they download the tape or stuff that they just don't want you downloading, period. Like this, where you can just play it straight from the site. You know, I mean, it's cool though, cause I really, I, I, I rocks with it, you know what I mean? So, um, these are a couple of places where I get 
my music from. I'm pretty sure it's another bunch more out there. Let's actually go to one more. This is one, it's very low key. Uh, DJ service pack, I believe. And I rarely go on here though. Like, rarely, if it loads. If it don't load, then we just gonna get to how I organize my music, all right? Also, leave in the comments below what record pool I, you think I should get. I would get uh, DJ City, but they so expensive, man. And I don't have time to be paying, what, 90 bucks? So 30 bucks a month for a DJ pool when I get the same amount of BPM and Crate Connect combined. You know, um, but DJ Service Pack is a place where you can find new songs and edits and stuff like that. But... I just don't like the way it's set up. It's a little fluky of a website to me. But let's get to how I organize music. Okay, I'm back. I had to go grab me some juice. All right. So, we in the organization part of the music, all right? So, you know, all my songs, bada 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 bada, all oh, those, okay. But, when, when I add music to my library, this is what I do. So I, I got a new ads playlist, all right. These all the songs I recently added, okay. And then what I do is I go through each of these, right. And I add them to the correct folder the playlist folder okay but before I get in that I'm gonna go to what this event playlist folder is this event playlist folder is pretty much a event play playlists okay so Eastmore Prom if you haven't seen that that's like my gig log four or five but it's pretty much just a folder of where I have put the Eastmore music. Obviously, it's not in there. I don't know why it's not in there, but it's not in there right now. So, you know, a backyard party, you know, a family get together, you know, a bunch of radio edits, clean versions, uh, some old school up in there, um, some slow tempo, you know, relaxation music. But, yeah. So, this is where the magic is, right here in this DJ folder. Okay, so I go here. Look at that. Look at all them folders. Okay. Remind you of BPM Supreme, right? Like I said, BPM is my daily driver. I like the way they got everything organized on there. So I pretty much did the same inside the iTunes. You know, it makes it real easy and quick to get to your music. So, for instance, in my EDM folder, I got EDM and remixes. Remixes as in changing shape of you to... A future house version you know so that's what this is and it's and then you know break it down from my EDM remixes folder drop down to just my EDM and then I got my future base future house progressive house trap tropical house these are and I only make folders for the songs that I actually keep and use all right I'm not making a folder for every genre and everything because why if I don't have them, you know um my country I don't have that much country and I so I just put it all in clean and dirty I don't um organize it by years or nothing like that all my country just going folders in one folder and two separate playlists because country is probably the least genre I DJ and um anything else about this uh same with my 90s and 80s you know it, it only got the music that i i dj you know there's no point um everything goes all these photos are 2000 stuff um same but so here with my edm and remixes i don't put those in a certain category of when i got it or uh what year it was neither uh, there's no point 
but this way of organization has helped me out so much you know if i'm playing some new school hip-hop okay and then i'm like okay they're not really jumping in this but it's a hip-hop crowd i just go right over here to my 2000s hip-hop and you know play some from here i swear it makes it so much easier besides okay what song uh, if I just have it all in one, I'm like, okay, what song is a song from the 2000s? Okay, Ice Cream Paint Job. Then you gotta search it up and everything. No, you can just, you know, even if you want to go on a spree of just playing 2000 songs, they're all right there. You know, it takes more time to organize it, but why not? You know what I mean? Why not? It's, it's so much better. Uh, something else I'm also going to include in this video is... Q pointing for Serato at least or how I organize Serato or also things I do in Serato when I don't add it to my um, iTunes library okay so let's get to that okay we're back here for part three of this video all right part three of this video is pretty much how I Q point and stuff in Serato not only how I cue point and stuff, but what I do when I want when I download new music, but haven't got a chance to add it into my iTunes playlist. Okay, so when I don't have a chance to add it into my iTunes playlist, I create a crate. Serato crate. Sorry, I got a text message from the big boss man. Hook me up with gigs. Shout out Matt Sexton. But uh I create a playlist. So for instance. Here got my MIA hookah playlist. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously it's not there because I reset my computer a couple days ago. But I just create a crate, drag all that new music into this crate until I get time to put it into uh, iTunes. But here go the iTunes breakdown. Remember I was showing you that in part two of this video. And you know, it makes it so, I mean, it's a bunch over here to get to. You may have to widen that a little bit more. But like I said, it makes it easier to get to. But I'm going to help you all out on some tips on how to cue point the music. All right. Uh, for instance, let's do a hip hop song. We're going to do hip hop and EDM songs. If it's not like an EDM song, they're all pretty much the same as hip hop. Okay. So we got this key to the streets no let's not use that let's use a song with the intro at it uh, okay i guess we can use racks so okay right here i don't name my cue points i don't color them okay i pretty much look at my screen and see okay that's the cue point is that cue point that simple all right so oh that's loud let's turn that down that's my first cue point okay um, this is the intro part of the song. So then I listen to it, you know, scroll through it. Uh, let's make that a little bigger. Okay. Find where the song actually come in. Okay, so I know that's that little drop right there. So I know this where the start, song starts, okay? So then I set a cue point right there. So in between, if you can see right here, zero seconds and 27 seconds. That's that intro part, okay? Then right here, this is where vocals come in. All right, uh, don't know what I just did, how I get that back up. Uh, oh, this right here. So I know that's where the song come in. All right. Not trying to get copyrighted, so that's why I'm playing it very short. So I know the verse starts right here. Okay. Usually I'm mixing in from the beginning of the song. So I don't really need to uh, label them or add any more cue points in hip hop songs after this. You know, after I get it playing, I know where I'm playing from. So, that's the, and then I'll probably do. 
I'll probably do the next verse, if anything. So this is the verse, alright? I'm in uh, the chorus, I'm sorry, I'm tripping. That's the chorus, and this is simply how I do my hip-hop songs. If I got time. Honestly, you could really do this stuff on the fly. Um, just keep on practicing a lot. Make sure you're not practicing with the same songs. And uh, make sure you're setting your cue points on specific points. Don't just, you know, okay, I hear the kick coming up. Let me hit a pad, set a cue point there. No, you really want it to be on the kick and where it starts because it's easier for mixing. If, if you're not a scratch DJ, you probably tap it to click it in. Then you don't tap it to click it in. You won't like the cue to uh, bring it in on the song, then it won't be lined up pretty equal. So you're gonna have to pitch bend and uh, crap like that to get it where you want it to be, okay? But EDM songs, this is probably the best tip I get to you with EDM songs. Let's, uh, the most popular EDM is Future House. I'm at Progressive House and 128 BPM. All right, so as you see, I didn't line that up right. So what I do go here, delete it, line it up right there on that kick. Okay, what you want to do though is use uh, uh, the beat jump feature. No, that's loops. That's loopy dope right there. Uh, I don't even know if you can see the beat jump feature in this. Can you? Let's see if I can find the beat jump feature. Um, edit grid? Where the edit grid at? I don't even see that. Mmm. Do 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 Okay, we not even gonna worry about it. Usually with the B jump feature. I do like six jump, 16 bars, eight bars, depending on the song. Um, so I know like this is eight bars right here. From this point to this point is eight bars. I could tell by the waveform up here. And I could tell uh, just from, you know, being a music major and knowing how to count music. All right. And then I'll go down to that little part in EDM songs. Um... So it starts like right here. Okay. You know, that may be a quick way to enter into another song. And then I set a cue point for when it actually starts. So it starts like right there. Okay. And then I jump all the way up here to the drop. Set a cue point at the drop. Set a cue point all the way at the drop, and then I scroll through the song. Yo, that was a nasty sound. And I search for the build up. So the build up starts right there, from what I hear. Having the build up really helps when DJing eating your music. Cause it's an easy way, you know. I'm I'm gonna drop right here on this on this cue point in the build up of the other song, but then I'm gonna switch to this song when it build up. Obviously, with Serato DJ, uh, not having like an actual mix mode in the uh, offline mode, you can't really uh, you know hear it, but it actually helps a lot. So then, um. I'm 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 in like a mug, ain't I? But you get the point. So it's just, it's just an easy way to mix and know where you need to drop in another song when you come to mixing. Most of the times with these songs, I like with hip hop songs, I don't go all the way through the song. I do the first few little parts right there, and I finish. I may do like this last whoosh right here, 
Okay, so I want to start on uh. Okay, so I want to start in the second half of the song. You know they had different drops, but that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Kaylee over there talking while I'm trying to record videos and stuff. But it's all good, homie. So, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video, homie. Peace! Hey, they don't love it like I do. They just do it because it's cool. I'm feeling this different.